careful what you ask for, Missouri. Um, in 2014, Missouri uh, passed a law decriminalizing marijuana. However, just like anybody else writing marijuana laws or passing marijuana laws or just doing anything with marijuana laws, it wasn't to take effect for a couple years. But, you know, that's that was then and this is now. It's 2017 now. And as of January 1st, the new law decriminalizing marijuana takes effect. Now, Missouri is famous for being one of the most prohibitive marijuana states in the country. I mean, you got to be, you got to have brass balls to go driving through Missouri with 35 grams or 36 grams of marijuana because 36 grams of marijuana, 35 grams is the same as possessing 30 kilos because it's a Class C felony. And it's punishable by maximum one year and a maximum of $5,000. Woo-wee. So what do they do? First-time offenders caught possessing small amounts of marijuana in Missouri no longer face the possibility of jail time under a law passed in 2014 that finally took effect January 1st. Under the new law, possession of up to 10 grams of marijuana is no longer uh, punishable by incarceration. Instead, first-time offenders will be on the hook for a $500 fine. Previously, the possession for 35 grams of marijuana was classified as a criminal misdemeanor punishable punishable by up to one year and a $1,000 fine. The new law, 2014 Senate Bill 491, made several significant changes to the state's criminal laws including protecting people caught with up to 10 grams of marijuana from incarceration on first offense. Let's stop repeating that, please, whoever wrote this, because we got T.J. Baker from the Daily Chronic. I guess there was just not a whole lot of good things to say about this, so they needed some filler, and, you know, they just kind of repeated things over and over because the new law also reduces possible sentences related to the sale of cultivation of marijuana, including the current ban on prohibition, or the current ban on probation or parolee, or no, or parole for those with a third felony offense. Let me read that again. The new law also reduces possible sentences related to the sale and cultivation of marijuana. So if you get caught selling or growing it, then you might have a reduced sentence compared to the old way, and that includes the current ban on probation and or parole for those with third felony offenses. So they might have lifted that ban, so... There was a ban before, so if it was your third offense, there was no way that you would just get probation or parole for a nonviolent crime. Yeah. Really good way to fill your prisons up with with nonviolent people there in Missouri. All right. So the following summary of Missouri's current marijuana law is courtesy of the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. Possession of up to 10 grams for the first offense a uh, time offender is a class D misdemeanor punishable by a fine of $500 but no jail time. Those convicted will have a criminal record. Other than the, you might have got 30 days in jail on top of that, that's really not a whole lot fucking different than before, guys. Um, thanks a lot, Missouri. Now let's go to the next thing. Possession of over 10 grams but less than 35 is a class A misdemeanor is punishable by a maximum sentence of a year in prison, a maximum fine of $2,000. Second time possession offenses are also classified as a Class A misdemeanor, even if the quantity is under 10 grams. Ooh, that slap on the wrist is going to sting a little harder. Now, wait to wait till this. You're just you're talking about a little over an ounce. You can have 10 grams uh, up to a little over an ounce, 35 grams. An ounce is 28. Possession of 35 grams to 30 kilos. In case you don't know what 30 kilos is, it's roughly, I don't know, 70 pounds. That would be a Class C felony, which is punishable by a maximum sentence of one year in prison and a maximum of $5,000 fine. But the, you know, the prison and the money, that's one thing. But the fucking felony? What? You can get a felony for a nonviolent crime? Uh, Yeah. And it only has to be 35 grams. (laughs) What? All right. Now you're in kilos. 
So if you had 35 grams, you might as well have 30 kilos. And if you have 30 kilos, well, you might as well bump it up to 30 to 100 because that's considering trafficking as a class B felony, punishable sentence by 5 to 15 years and a fine of 5000 to $20,000. Class B felony. Possession of 100 kilos is considered a class A felony. Man, are you serious? The federal laws look a lot like this too, by the way. Um, so I'm not going to read the rest of this crap. But all these class C, B, and A felonies for nonviolent crimes. And if you don't think people are sitting in jail right now because of these ridiculous sentencing guidelines for these nonviolent crimes, you would be fucking mistaken. So, good job, Missouri, I guess. Uh, good job, the Missouri of 2014. Where, where was the, the 2016 Missouri at? You could have done a whole lot more. Like, uh, they decriminalizing in Kansas City. Um, they got enough signatures to do it. Maybe they can get a better form of decriminalization than this garbage.